Attention villains of the world. I am now declaring martial law. I will be the one to defeat all of the superheroes. You will not be able to. I will stop you in your tracks. I am declaring war on other super villains. <laughs> you think you can defeat me? You think you can stop me? Ha! Ah! You know, I have the most power. I have the most intelligence. And damn, I'm handsome. So why don't you try? More. So in Thwarted, a game of super villainy, you are trying to be the super villainiest of all super villains. So let's go ahead and show you how the game works. So, first of all, every player is going to receive a hand of five cards. And then you are going to be using these cards to go ahead and attack the superheroes that are out on patrol. You can also use them to stop your opponents from trying to take actions and trying to defeat those heroes on their own. So once everybody has a hand of five cards, you're also going to go ahead and fill the city with enough heroes to equal the number of players. So let's say we're doing a three-player game. We're going to go and put out three cards here. Now, showing you on the cards here, how you defeat them is you're going to spend four cards of any types to be able to defeat him. So Opulent Tank requires four power for you to defeat him. So you're going to be using these cards here, so I can discard any four of these cards to go ahead and defeat him. Now, some characters have stuff in this special uh, little box here, which is just a little rules box. Now, if there's something in the rules box, you have to obey it. With Opulent Tank, there's no rules here, so any four cards will go ahead and defeat him. Now, looking here, we do have one special card. We have Blue Lightning. Now, it doesn't show up on my camera very well, but there is the Blue Snowflake right there with a negative one. Now, I have a little bit of errata here to show you here. So all the negative ones in the hero rule boxes should be times two, which actually makes a lot more sense. And I'm glad they included that with this preview copy. So blue lightning, what this negative one actually a times two means is that he is, in, he is super affected by this uh, special type. So if you use any of the blue cards, that counts as double against him. So... Let's go ahead and see what we can do on our first turn. Also, the first player is going to take the patrol marker, and I'll explain that in just a little bit. But that's kind of like denotes where the round is and when superheroes start doing some of their crazy things. So let's see what we can do on our turn here. We have a handful of action cards, which are what are you going to be able to, be able to use on your turn. So you can take one action and you can defeat one hero in any order. So, let's see what we want to do here. We have this atomic, atomic stun here. So stun all villains until the beginning of your next turn. So they won't be able to use any actions if you wanted to go ahead and do that. We have dimensional rift here. So shuffle the top 10 cards of the discard pile and place them on top of the draw deck. Then draw two cards. That is very good for when we have a really big discard pile. Let's see here, we have a mole here. Choose a henchman or sidekick in a containment area and steal any two cards in that uh, victim's hand, villain's hand, excuse me. Put the henchman or sidekick in your containment area. So there are um, henchmen and sidekicks that you can get into your areas and stuff and the mole can be used to steal them away here. So look over there! We have steal a random card from all other villains. And then we have Ice Barrier. So villain actions do not affect you until the start of your next turn. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and use this Atomic Stun. So I place that in front of me and say, Stun all victims until the beginning of my next turn. Now all of my opponents cannot use any um, action cards. So I go ahead and discard that. I've already done that action. 
Now, I may go ahead and I can try to defeat a villain with some of the cards in my hand here. So, let's see here. You know what? I think I'm going to go after the Blue Lightning because I do have an Ice card in my hand. So, to defeat Blue Lightning, he costs four to defeat him. But remember, the blue cards are double, so it's only going to cost me three. So, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to use these three cards. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to my look over there. So I'm going to use these three cards to go ahead and try to defeat the Blue Lightning Superhero. So I'm going to announce that I'm using these cards. I'm defeating the Blue Lightning Superhero. Now, all the other hero, or excuse me, all the other villains now have a chance to try to play a block card. So if they choose to play a block card, that'll block my attack and all my stuff is lost, and unfortunately, that attack is unsuccessful. But let's just say I went ahead and I succeeded at blocking, or excuse me, I succeeded at killing or defeating, you don't kill superheroes, I defeated this superhero. So, once you defeat the superhero, if you do not possess the patrol marker, you're going to now receive that into your area. It's going to go to you. And then you go ahead and you're going to do what their special ability is. So his Blue Lightning's ability is Speed Demon. And it says take another turn immediately after your turn ends. So he's now in my scoring area. And he says I get to take another turn. So at the end of my turn, I'm going to draw a card. I think I forgot to draw a card at the beginning of my turn. So that's the first thing you should always do is draw a card. So anyways, so now that is the end of my turn. And now it's going to go back to me. It's going to happen again. So because of Blue Lightning, I'm taking another turn. So you draw a card. Don't forget to do that. I always do. So I draw a card at the beginning of my turn. So it looks like, ooh, I got a couple block cards now. And still a bunch of action cards. So now let's see what we can do here. So let's go ahead and let's just try to defeat another villain here. So I can go ahead and try. And let's defeat the opulent tank. So the opulent tank is going to take four cards to defeat. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and use those four cards. So four separate cards for the opulent tank. Nobody's going to go ahead and block me. So go ahead and discard those cards and the opulent tank has now been defeated. I already have the patrol mark so it won't come over to me. And now we're going to go ahead and do their action. And their action says deal all of your remaining cards equally to all the other villains. So, I have my cards here. Well, I have, I'm playing as if we're playing with three players. So I'm going to do those as equally as possible here. So I'm going to just shuffle those up and, you know, Jimmy gets that. Bob gets that. And oh, look, there's one more. So I guess Jimmy's going to get that one too. So that was as equally as I could. Now that is the end of my turn since I can't play any actions because I don't have any more because of the opulent tank thing. Now... Since this was the second turn, I go ahead and do what Professor Omega says on here. So now at the end of your next turn, which is now, since I took two turns in a row, it is my next turn, a hero goes out on patrol in the city. And then if a villain defeats a hero, you pass this marker. So a new hero is going to go out on patrol. So Crossbolt is now going out on patrol. Now, one thing that is interesting is when a hero goes out on patrol... So when a new hero goes out on patrol, the hero that is to the right the most is going to go back into the city deck. So before they go back into the city deck, you're going to go ahead and discard that many cards from the draw deck. So he, uh, Madcap Mercenary has two right there, so two cards get discarded. Whoops, discard piles right over here. And then he is going to get shuffled back into the city deck. Now, as I said, there's actions. There's also block cards. They just explained a little bit. And you can play a block card on somebody else's turn, and you can block their attack. 
then they're going to get to draw two cards. And this card, because it is a henchman, it's going to go into their cont containment area, but it's worth no points. But one thing that's very interesting is any henchmen or sidekicks in your containment area can actually help contribute to the attack of a hero. So if I would have had this in my area, it's one fire that I can use to defeat another hero on my turn if I wanted to. And of course, the game is called Thwarted, and there are some thwart cards here. So if uh, a player is trying to play an action, I can go ahead and try to thwart their actions. I will play this card, and I will choose what I want to do. I can cancel the target villain's action, or if I want to, I can discard two cards to immediately end the villain's turn and cancel all attacks and actions. So I can just do a little bit and be like, no, don't use that card, I'm going to thwart you. Or if I want to, I can, I can go ahead and discard two cards, just completely end their turn and stop everything that they're doing from happening. Now, with the blocks, once you do a block, that's the end of it. But a thwart, somebody else can thwart your thwart. And then if you really want to, you can thwart a thwarted thwart, thus making it still an effect. But you can continue thwarting thwarts until you don't want to thwart anymore. Say that three times fast. But that is just the basics of Thwarted. The game will end when the draw deck runs out, when there are no heroes to defeat over here, or if the city deck is completely depleted. Once that is done, you will count up how many victory points you have in your player area. So heroes and any henchmen that give you any points or any uh, sidekicks that give you any points. Who has the most points is the winner of the game. This program is part of the Pathological Nerdcasters Network. Find more at pncn.rocks, where all the geeks come to play. So that is a brief overview of Thwarted. This is a pretty cool little game. I did enjoy playing this with my friends trying to see and trying to figure out how to get those points and trying to defeat all, all your other players. And it's fun to thwart a thwart and thwart that thwart. And just saying thwart is really, really fun. But if this looks like something that you would be interested in, please go ahead and click down below. I'll have a Kickstarter link down there so you can go and check it out and back it for yourself. And as always, please not forget that I am part of the Pathological Nerdcasters Network. You can go over to pncn.rocks to find out more about some of the podcasts and the video reviewers that are part of the network. And for myself, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and help support Cloak and Maple. I have my subscribe button down below, and I have my Patreon link off to the side. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Today I have called you here because there are so many superheroes to defeat, but you know what? I am the one to defeat them all. No, not you. Me. I will be the one. I will be the only one to be able to succeed at defeating all of them. You will not be able to succeed. I will thwart you. Warted. It's horrible.